What is up? This is your LA in a minute. And I'm here in Panorama City at a nondescript strip mall that's not too different than any of the other mini malls throughout Los Angeles. But what makes this strip mall unique is that it was the first modern strip mall, spawning an entire culture of strip malls, more than 5,000 throughout the county and countless throughout the world. So what was it about this strip mall that made LA the strip mall capital of the world? Let's get into it. The concept of a strip mall or mini mall is pretty easy. I mean, there are four of them at this intersection here today. The rectangular L-shaped buildings that house anywhere from about five to 15 stores with tons of parking outside. So you can park, go in the store, get what you need, and then run back out to your car. Pretty obvious, right? But before the 1970s, they didn't exist. But as soon as this one popped up, people fell in love with the ease and convenience and they were all over. In fact, within 13 years of this very first strip mall, there were 3,000 throughout Southern California and Los Angeles earned the title of the mini mall capital of the world. So people kept shopping at the strip malls, but they became a lightning rod for criticism. They were called cheap, ugly, undesirable for aspirational neighborhoods, but people kept shopping at the mini malls. So they kept being built nowhere faster than in Los Angeles. So these mini malls or convenience centers were the brainchild of Marvin Levine and Alan Reisman, two LA natives who were partners in a company that built mostly apartment buildings. One day in 1972, they were driving through Panorama City on the way to one of their construction sites and they noticed a shuttered gas station right here at Woodman and Osborne, one of thousands of gas and service stations that were bankrupted due to the oil crisis that was freeing up these corner lots for redevelopment. Reisman and Levine knew the land was ripe for redevelopment, but instead of building an apartment, they came up with a plan for five stores, a cluster of neighborhood specialists that people could visit without spending hours at a large mall or driving from one location to the next. Within a year, the duo drew up the plans, built the center, and leased all five stores. And they were busy. They were also profitable. So Levine and Reisman were on the cusp of a development that would literally change the face of Los Angeles. Their timing was uncanny as the face of Los Angeles itself was rapidly changing. Political unrest began to push waves of immigrants from Vietnam, Cambodia, Korea, the Philippines, Mexico, El Salvador, Armenia, Iran, to Southern California. These were doctors, lawyers, hardworking people who couldn't practice their professions, so they wanted to open stores. And big malls at the time wanted chain tenants. But Levine and Reisman quickly realized that the newcomers knew better than anyone else what type of merchandise would be most popular and successful in their own neighborhoods. It also helped that shoppers were becoming annoyed with large malls. They had to search for parking and walk several hundred yards just to buy a goldfish or a record. And eating habits and work schedules became more fragmented. So the demand grew for the convenience of having a small corner center where you could get breakfast, drop off your dry cleaning, and stop in for a haircut. So complaints continued to pop up. They cause traffic. They don't have enough parking. They're all the same. How many do we need? But more than anything, people thought these pod malls, mini malls, strip malls, were just plain ugly. In November 1988, the LA City Council passed the Mini Mall Ordinance, which set aesthetic guidelines for future mini malls. This included the planting of one tree for every four parking spaces. So many strip malls were upgraded, eventually expanding into two stories or featuring different architecture or just becoming bigger than the modern strip mall itself. But it's all because the original concept was wildly successful and continues to provide the blueprint for Los Angeles today. Now remember, strip malls or mini malls are also technically called convenience centers because they are convenient. You can get in and out of your car without having to drive all over the place and walk all over the place just to get the few things that you need. So for now, Los Angeles remains the strip mall capital of the world. Next time you're buying lottery tickets, getting coffee, or even a massage, take a look around because these cookie cutter architectural non-entities changed the landscape of Los Angeles. And from right here in Panorama City, made LA the strip mall capital of the world. All right, LA, it's been a minute.